Next up is campaign URL options. So this feature is actually at the keyword level, the ad level, the ad group level, campaign, and account level. What is it? Imagine you work at a company and your company has a custom URL tracking system. So this is internal to your company. Or let's say you're an affiliate and you want to record data about your advertising efforts in a third party system. That's where this stuff comes in. If this is not relevant to you, you don't need to know this stuff. If you manually tag your URLs, you can optionally think about using this instead. The benefit here, the benefit why you might want to use this if you manually tag your URLs is it can be explained right here. Setting up URL, URL options at the ad group, campaign, or account level means that you can update your tracking information without resubmitting your ads for approval. So what happens often is, let's say you need to update tracking on your URLs for your ads. You're not using this template system, this tracking template system. That means you have to resubmit the ads, which means those ads will now become removed or deleted, basically and new ads will be created in their place. Well, if you are using campaign URL options or URL tracking parameters or templates, you wouldn't have to resubmit those ads for approval. Those ads could continue running and all you would do is update the tracking for those ads. So you maintain the history and you keep those ads running. So that is the main benefit. There's this idea of parallel tracking that you'll run into when you look into this. I just want you to know what it is. So as a third party, your URL has a bunch of stuff in it and it'll go through a bunch of redirects usually. When a user clicks an ad, they go through this redirect path and then they finally end up at the final URL. Parallel tracking basically comes in and it's actually required by all Google accounts now, by the way, as of October 30th, 2018. But it'll come in and it'll say, okay, the user clicks the ad, they go directly to the final URL, and all that redirection chain that happens, Google doesn't want to send the user through a bunch of redirects just to get to your landing page. They're going to take all that stuff, put it in the background, and let it happen parallel, in parallel to the click. So that's what that is. I'll give you a brief example here of, of how to actually set something like this up. So there's this LP URL, you'll see that a lot. And this, this topic is technical, okay? But it'll help you introduce yourself to value track parameters. You might have seen when I was doing some URL stuff, I put this uh, open brace keyword close brace or open brace creative close brace. These are values that will be dynamically inserted into the URL at the time the ad is clicked. That's very helpful to know. And it's useful, especially if you're going to dump that information into your third party system. So we can use these value track parameters to as template placeholders in your URLs. And the LP URL, that's the final URL. It will be escaped unless you put LP URL at the beginning of your URL like we did here. And then you can add whatever custom tracking you have. And then this is a custom parameter. You can define, I think, up to eight. And you can use value track parameters in your custom parameters. Now we're getting really in the weeds. Or it can just be a static value like uh, ABC. And then this is stuff that gets appended to your URL. So there's a lot of options for how you control the tracking, templating of your URLs. So that's pretty much all I want to talk about. This is a complex topic. If you have any questions, definitely let me know.